Well, you know, Alfred Sams is a Georgia Tech guy, and he's a making guy, and, and we've been trying to get this for him in, in Sydney since we came down here. So that's as satisfying as anything is to finally get him a Georgia Tech win in his own tournament. So, But it was a team effort, I and mean, we had seven guys really play well all the way through the tournament. It was a different guy each day, but uh, positive signs for a young team for sure. Well, I, I think, you know, where we, we got away from him the first day, and that really kind of changed everything, and then we played a, bad, a, a good back nine today. So, obviously, it's a very good feeling. We're eight of the top 50 teams in the country here and uh, beat some in-state friends of ours, uh, which is always good. So, I, I, it feel really, feels really good to win. Well, you know, you know there, there are some people, and we know South Georgia is not, not always friendly to the Yellow Jackets sometimes, but uh, it was good for those folks. That, you know, one of the reasons why we play in-state some is so the young men's parents and families can come watch them play, and, and that's... Uh, you know, it's neat to see them to have to see their kids win tournaments. Well, I, you know, I think that, uh, you know, obviously we qualify a lot and, and guys know they got to continue to play well. And, uh, you know, I think maybe started the day with the feeling like all we can do is mess up. You know, you get so far ahead that sometimes I think you, you kind of play defensive. And obviously they made the turn and realized a lot of that was gone and they needed to go play. And, and um, you know, I'll be actually happier now that that happened than just go ahead and roll over and, and play good the whole day and not be challenged because now they know that they've been challenged and they've responded in a, in a big way, which should build a lot of confidence. Uh, you know, I just went out and had fun. Uh, you know, playing with the lead, it's uh, it's very nice. And uh, I just went out there and played golf. Yeah, I noticed we uh, we made a good run at uh, on the first nine holes. You know, we got pretty tight. Uh, but, you know, Georgia Tech's a good team. They're real solid. And, uh, you know, they had a great victory here. You know, it's nice to break through and finally win one. Uh, you know, I finished second so many times. And, you know, I've played well here at this event uh, each year. So it's always a fun golf tournament to come back to, and uh, I'm sad I won't be here next year. Well, I think as a whole, um, it went very well. It was run very good. I mean, it's a great event. It's, uh, it's always great to, to hear other coaches, fans, spectators, um, you know, just, just talk about how good this place is and how special this tournament is and, and how it's actually one of the best tournaments they actually play in all year. So that makes you feel good. Sorry from a play point of view. Um, you know, going into the final round, you know, we'd hope to play a little bit better, but, um, but you know, it, it is what it is. The guys tried hard. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end up finishing probably about ninth or so. Uh, a little disappointed, but uh, certainly not down on the guys, not down on them at all. And, and I think we'll learn from this and ultimately make us a better team. Uh, I think the win maybe had a little something to do with it, but to be honest with you, I just think that we were a little tight. Um, you know, you try to avoid that and try to be as relaxed as possible, but it's not always, uh, not always the case, and it's easier said than done. But I just think we came out a little tight. I think we tried to press the issue a little bit, and uh, consequently, you know, we just uh, just didn't play our games and warn ourselves, and, and that was the result for the higher scores. You know, I mean, I mean, Hans obviously played well. Uh, the first two days didn't play very well today, but you know, he made a couple birdies coming down the stretch, and, and it shows that he's got some resiliency. Uh, James Beal's the same way. He's got a lot of talent. Um, and, um, you know, Josh Cohn, I mean, the guys from top to bottom, you know, Thomas Holmes didn't play well the first round and really showed some true character and came back in the second round. And, and um, you know, and Alex Street obviously shows, um, you know, signs of being a really good player. So I'm excited for the guys. We're a young group. Uh, Josh is the only senior. And, uh, and as I told him at the beginning of the year, this is going to be a, a marathon, not a sprint. And as long as it, we continue to get better and, and focus on the right things, that we're going to be OK. And, and I think I saw some signs of, of us going in the right direction this weekend. And, and, that, and that gives me a lot of confidence in what the, in this year has to come. Well, I, uh, I kind of got around and I was able to make a bunch of putts, especially the first couple days. And then uh, you know, every now and then I had a few errant shots, especially today. And it kind of ended up turned out for a bad day. But uh, overall, I did pretty good. Yeah, the wind was definitely a challenge. I felt the, like the greens maybe got a little bit quicker this afternoon and uh, kind of was tough to control my speed on my putts, but uh, it was definitely the wind was a big challenge. You know, it's fun. We, uh, we get to go out and show that we can compete with these guys and that we're, we belong playing with these guys. It, uh, it was fun to see that we can beat them when we play well and we just need to keep doing what we're doing and try to get better. It's great. I mean, it, we know that we can get, if we have a good year, we can get to regionals and hopefully even farther than that. And it, uh, I think it all gave us some confidence that we can play with these guys and it, uh, it should be good. It should be a good year.